In this video, we will explore bank feeds in Verify, specifically connecting bank or credit card accounts for automated syncing, as well as manually importing transactions. Verify's banking integrations are provided by Yodli. They are a global market leader with transaction feed support for over 9,000 financial institutions worldwide. Yodli are aligned with Verify's focus on security and privacy, with security protocols that are at a higher than bank standard. To connect your bank or credit card account to Verify, start by clicking this Link Bank or Credit Card button. This will bring up Yodli's connection wizard. If your financial institution appears on the list here, select it by clicking on the corresponding logo, otherwise search for it by name in this field below. Once you've found your provider, step through the guided process to get connected. Once you're done, you'll see your newly connected accounts on this page. At this point, Yodli will start downloading up to the last 90 days worth of transactions from your accounts and sending them to verify. Depending on how much activity you have for that time period and which financial institution your accounts are with, this initial sync process could take 5 to 10 minutes or in some cases could take a little longer. After this, your transactions will usually be updated every one or two days. You may have noticed that these two Wells Fargo accounts each have an error message telling us that the connection has been lost. There are a number of reasons why this would happen. The most common reason is that your account uses two-factor authentication, which has a limited validity period within which Yodli is able to download your transactions before you're required to re-enter a fresh security token. The other common reason is that something has changed on the bank's side and you only haven't yet updated the processes to cater for it. The first thing you should do when you see this error message is to have a quick look at the error message here to see what went wrong and also try reconnecting your account here. Often just reconnecting your account resolves the issue on the spot, but if it doesn't, you can reach out at support at verify.com and we'll work with Yodli to get you up and running again. If you're unable to find your bank or credit provider for automated syncing, you can still add an account for manual transaction imports. As before, click the link bank or credit card button, but this time click the add manual account button here. Fill out the form and finally click add account. You will notice that your account is marked with a manual badge to let you know that it isn't being automatically synced with any account. To populate this account with transactions, you will first need to run a transaction export from your bank or credit provider in either a CSV or Excel format. And once you have your file, select this import transactions option. Before you upload your file, you'll need to make sure it contains the right data presented in the correct way. The file needs to contain a date and a description column. It will also need either an amount column or a debit and a credit column. If it contains a debit and a credit column, it's quite simple. The amounts in the debit column represent debits and the amounts in the credit column represents credit. If instead you have an amount column, you may also optionally have a type column which contains either the word debit or the word credit to indicate which type each transaction is. If you have an amount column but do not have a type column, then Verify will assume that any transaction with a negative figure in the amount column is a debit and positive amounts will be treated as credits. Once you've got all your columns in place, click the Choose File button and then pick the file you want to import. Your file will be automatically validated for you. If you receive any warnings or errors, read through them carefully and correct any problems found with the file and then click the Revalidate button. Once your file passes validation, click the Import button. As soon as the import completes, you'll be able to view your newly imported transactions in your account. I'd like to mention at this point that you can manually import transactions not only into manual accounts. You can also do so to accounts that have been connected for automatic syncing. You do have to be careful with what you import into automated accounts though. If your last sync ran yesterday and you manually import transactions for today, you may in some cases end up with today's transactions duplicated when they're downloaded as part of the sync process. The most appropriate use case for manually importing transactions into automated accounts would be to back populate historical data. For example, when an account is first connected, 
Yodli will download up to the last 90 days of transactions for you and from that point on you will keep getting new transactions added automatically for as long as your account is connected. If you wanted transactions that are older than the ones that were originally downloaded for you, you could export those older transactions from your online account and import them into your automated account in Verify. By the way, transactions that were imported manually can be deleted, whilst those that have been synced automatically into your account cannot. One final point on bank feeds is that if you would like to control who has access to each account, you can do that by clicking here and selecting the appropriate team members. All admins always have access to the entire team's accounts, but you could allow your non-admin team members to view their own bank feeds and match their transactions to their documents. Those transactions will still need to be reviewed and approved by an admin. That's it for bank feed management. To learn about matching and approving transactions, look out for our video titled Bank Reconciliation in Verify. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, reach out to us at support at verify.com.